Hello there, Ray here, and today I would like to show you a cool flying machine that I made that is able to move fire. I created this flying machine back when 1.8 was released, after Omega X told me that fire can cause chunk updates. So if I had the fire beside a chunk boater, then the next chunk over can be updated just by having this fire here. So my idea was to figure out a way to transport fire all the way out to the edges where the player is not loading any more chunks. This way I could cause the fire to update and load more chunks beyond where the player is loading. So the idea was to try to figure out a way to transport fire on a flying machine and I came up with this design. The way that I have this work is that we first have fire sitting on top of a permanent block such as netherrack and in 1.12 they also added magma blocks to this list of blocks that permanently can allow fire to sit on top of so the fire won't go out while sitting on top of there. Now it's just a matter of time for the fire to randomly search around and try to place fire into new locations that it can burn on such as this hay bale here. So once the fire has placed Fire up against this hay bale, it will create a block here, which will update this piston. Then when it updates this piston, the piston will uh, first extend because it's powered by this redstone block uh, budded. And then I'll come over here and pull these two pistons forward. And then this piston will get updated by this redstone block and it will move this flammable hay bale forward again. Now, the actual fire block that sits on top of this hay bale will not move. And instead, it will get... Um, Pulled back into this location and then it will change from a sideways fire block into a fire block that's sitting on the ground. So once this fire block is actually set, this fire block that's right here will actually vanish and then this new one will take the place of that one. So it's kind of an interesting concept, but this is how I figured out how to move fire with a flying machine. So you can see that happening right there. The actual fire block that was on top of this is actually removed and this new fire block is converted back over into here. You can use any type of flammable block in this position here, but as Akron pointed out, using a hay bale is the best because hay bales are twice as likely to take on uh, fire blocks. So the fire is twice as likely to spread to this hay bale than other types of flammable blocks. And this way it will update the system more quickly and then move across more uh, quickly as well. Now we have also blocked up some other areas that the fire block will try to spread to. So we got like a slab up here to prevent fire going up here or down here on the sides here because these are all the areas that the fire could spread to. And then there, if it sat up on top of there, it burned up the hay bale before updating this piston. Uh, we don't have to worry about it spreading to the side because it's too far away. So with fire spreading, after it's spread onto a flammable block, after a short bit, it has a chance to destroy this block because of the fire destroying the flammable blocks. But because of the flying machine updating so quickly, the fire never is able to destroy this block and instead is placed back over here. In this case, we can keep reusing the same flammable block. Using the fire block to update nearby chunks, such as a chunk loader, is kind of slow. Just the way that fire updates chunks is very slow because it searches area. But you could actually in concept use this as a chunk loader as well as you can use this to update chunks that are not being populated by the player as well. So you can send it out there and constantly update chunks. But it would probably be more efficient to just have a fly machine be sent out that has a piston that is just spamming uh, going on and off over the chunk border, constantly updating the next door chunk. But this was a pretty cool concept and idea trying to figure out how to transport fire on a flying machine. So to build this, you would want to first put down a scaffolding block and then you want to have a sticky piston facing inward into these slime blocks here. And then we want to have a normal piston facing backwards and we want to remove that one and come along here just like so and we want to have a normal piston facing over here and then in this gap here we want to have your nether rack or your magma block and this is where the fire will be placed on top of then up here we will have a piece that is being moved along by this piston back here which is a slime block and a redstone block then your flammable block will be here we want to cover up the flammable block on these sides here and then we can stick any kind of blocks these can be any type of blocks, you put slabs or whatever, this just looks a lot cleaner. And if you put a, a trapdoor here, it keeps getting updated, so that slab looking a lot nicer there. And then once you get that in, then all you have to do is put your redstone block in here, and it's pretty much finished. And put your fire there, and then once the fire has moved over here, it updates it, and it'll move the whole thing forward. So there you have it guys, how to transport fire with a flying machine. If you have any other ideas on how to use this, please tell me in the comments. But if you found this interesting, show me with a like. If you'd like to see more crazy contraptions like this, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye!